Hi, in this question we have a cubic function. We're asked to find a bunch of intercepts and max and mins, and then we're also going to do some transforming. So let's go ahead and plug this function into y equals. Just click your y equals button. Negative x cubed plus 3x squared. Okay, I don't know what my window says, so let's just put, click graph and see what we get. Not a bad window, also not a good window. I need to see more of my y's, and I also would like to see a little bit more of my um, negative x's, and I'm seeing way too much down here. So negative, maybe negative 3 uh, to 4, and I, like I said, I saw way too much of the negative y's, so let's just go make negative, negative 9, and maybe a little bit more on the other y's, maybe to 6, see how that does. Okay, that does look better. Same graph pretty much as what I have here. Uh, all right, write the coordinates of the x and y intercepts. Second calc, or let's go y equals first, and type in y equals zero into y2. Let's go second calc. Let's go intersect, oops, number five. And we're just going to travel over to this other one. Looks like 3. Pretty sure it's 3. Let's just go near it. And then just type enter, enter, enter. Sure enough, it's 3. So the x-intercept equals 3. It says coordinate. Let me write it as a coordinate. Coordinate is 3 comma 0. Uh, I can tell right away, if I plug in 0 for x here, I'm going to get 0 because there's nothing else there. So I'm also going to have 0, 0. And lucky enough, that's both the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So that problem's done. Find the coordinate for the relative maximum. That's that point right there. Right there. So that coordinate, let's go find out. Second calc. Maximum, number 4. It says go to the left side of it. So enter, go to the right side, enter, and enter. We have 1.9999994, which in calculator language is 2 comma 4. Calculator just doesn't know how to round very well. So that is 2, 4. Okay, now it says to sketch the graph of f of negative x. So if you were to do that with your calculator, you would go in here. We don't have to do it. We don't need to do it. But we would go in here and go insert, second insert, parentheses, negative, scroll over, second insert, another parentheses, and go and do that again over with the other x. Second insert, parentheses, and then do it over here. Oops, didn't put the negative in. Insert negative and push graph. And you'll see it's an exact mirror image. So I can just go ahead, go ahead and graph that. This point here, it says to make the x values negative or the x values opposite. So I'm going to take all of my x values and make them opposite. So now that's negative 2, 4. So negative 2. I've just made the x value opposite. x value here is 0. That just stays there. x value here is 3. So that will become negative 3. So I think that's enough for me to graph it. Looks pretty good. So there's my f of negative x. What is the value of its new relative maximum? So that would be negative 2 comma 4. That's negative 2 comma 4. And now for the last part, it says find the value of b such that f of x plus b, so now we're back to the original, f of x plus b, talking about the original one, f of x. And I need to find the value of b such that there's a relative maximum on the x-axis. And all I'm allowed to do is this tra transformation b. This translation only moves the graph up and down. So what I want to do is I want to literally move it down.
to right there, which means this transformation means I need to move it down 4. So f of x minus 4. Or you could say that b is negative 4.